Well, what could have been a worst case scenario for an Ann Arbor family ended with joy, thanks in large part to first responders. It was an unexpected baby delivery at home. 7 Action News reporter Jen Shans with how the proud parents were reunited with the people who helped bring their little one into the world. Jen. Well, Glenda, Wednesday, March 13th started as an ordinary day for the Klein family until expectant mother Crin suddenly went into labor. Now, with no time to make it to the hospital, she and her husband had no choice but to deliver the baby right there at home. You can hear the panic in Eton Klein's voice. <laughs> Wow. Already a father of two, baby number three's arrival didn't go exactly as planned. His wife, Crin, suddenly went into labor at home. The couple didn't have time to make it to the hospital. So the baby's coming out. Okay. Yes, so listen, right an ambulance is on the way while you and I are talking. I'm going to help you deliver this baby, okay? okay? A patient 911 operator walks the father to be through the delivery March 13th. While they waited for the Ann Arbor Fire Department and the Huron Valley Ambulance to arrive, she helped Etan make sure the baby was okay, even walking him through how to cut the cord and make sure the baby was breathing. How's her breathing? Her eyes are open. Her eyes are open, okay. Is her chest moving up and down? It's a little noise. Okay, she's making a little noise, good. Just one month later, the Klein family and their newest member, a one-month-old baby girl named Daisia, had the chance to say thank you to the people who helped bring her into the world including 911 dispatcher Stacy Howard, who guided Eton every step of the way. Also part of that special reunion, of course, were the paramedics and the firefighters who arrived shortly after the baby's birth. She was then brought to the hospital for observation. Now Daisy is home, healthy with her two older brothers, who incredibly slept through her very eventful mm -hmm. birth. Jen Shan, 7 Action News. Well, of course they did. <laughs> I'm glad the family's together. Jen, thank you for that incredible story.